guys, John here with Survival Dispatch. And today we're gonna talk about boo-boo kits. Uh, most of the time when it comes to medical gear, you know, people dive right into trauma kits. We're talking blowout kits with tourniquets and Israeli bandages, quick clot, you know, things to deal with massive bleeding. But most of the time, that stuff is just not going to be used. What's mostly gonna be used is a small boo-boo kit. Things that, you know, a bag that you can throw into your backpack, your hiking backpack, your get home bag, um, things like that that are gonna help with cuts, scrapes, uh, you know, issues with your stomach, headaches, things like that. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the boo-boo kit that I've been carrying for probably four or five years. I've added things here and there to it. Um, I've worked on this kit. This kit really came from uh, necessity. I was traveling a lot with a job. I was traveling, I mean, pretty much across the world. This kit has been with me from, you know, from here to China and back. Um, and really all it came is, you know, every time I would have an issue that I wasn't able to take care of with the kit, um, I would add it to it. So it's kind of evolved over the last few years. And today what we're gonna do is break it apart, see exactly what I carry. Um, and like I said, this isn't a trauma kit. I carry one of those as well in my backpack. Um, this is just for the, you know, the everyday kind of things. Um, what I use is a, this is a, a heavier mill. This is like a four mil, two and a half by five Ziploc bag. Um, it's very small and, uh, and I also have a pill bottle too. Uh, the pill bottle is the first thing I'll start with. It's just a Tylenol pill bottle. I use the Tylenol, it, you can use whatever pill bottle you want. Um, and all I have in here is just some ibuprofen, some Tylenol, uh, just for, you know, headaches, uh, for bumps, bruises, you know, backache, thing like that. Um, I have some uh, uh, Prilosec in here because I get heartburn every now and then. Um, so that's that's pretty much all I carry. You know, it's, it's nothing, nothing too fancy. I mean, I just keep it, you know, where I can get to it easily. Um, I, I know what the pills are in here, so I don't, you know, have them identified or anything like that because I only carry a couple. I will say when it comes to pills, I like to use brand name stuff uh, just in case, you know, if I toss this bottle to somebody and say, yeah, there's some Tylenol in there. Um, you know, it's, it's pills that say Tylenol on it. It's not some, you know, there's five different kinds of white generic pills in there. Um, they're all labeled and you know exactly what they are. So I carry a small pill bottle, you know, that comes out, you know, every week or so uh, just for headaches and things like that. And then, you know, in the, in the kit itself, like I said, this has evolved from, from traveling uh, a ton. So, um, you know, but I still, I have this same exact bag uh, in my get home bag, just in case. Um, and I carry everything, you know, like I said, from cuts to, to stomach issues and things like that. Um, first thing in here is I have a Claritin D, that's for allergies. Um, I do suffer quite a bit from allergies and stuff, especially in the summer. So it's nice to be able to have that if I'm, you know, gone for a couple days. Um, and one thing too, this isn't a kit that's like, you know, made to sustain yourself for, for two weeks or something like that. It's really just for, you know, one or two days to get you by. Um, the next pill in here is, a, is an anti-diarrheal pill. Um, you know, I've been overseas and stuff and, you know, no matter how, how well you try to drink and eat, you know, stuff that your stomach is, is accustomed to, uh, you usually come across something. So I got a couple, you know, anti-diarrhea pills in here uh, because that is the biggest thing that will slow you down is, is a stomach issue. Um, and then I'm allergic to a couple things. So I carry a, a couple of Benadryls as well, uh, just in case. I get hives on my face um, if I come in contact with a couple of different things. So, so that's what I, I use. I use Benadryl and it usually knocks it right down. Um, I'll just dump everything out here and then we'll kind of go section by section. Um, this is something that I've used for a long time. Uh, when I'm on the road, if I start to feel just kind of, you know, yucky, kind of flu-ish, you know, cold, things like that, um, I take an emergency and I take the Alka-Seltzer uh, Severe Cold and Flu. I mix these together in a glass of water and I drink it and, you know, it helps with body ache. It helps with, you know, uh, sore throat. It helps with runny nose, things like that. Uh, this is something that I've used for years. Um, and, and I've always, I've always have one with me just in case I start to feel nasty. Like if I go to shot show and I start to feel like I'm starting to kind of get the bug, um, you know, I'll get extra, uh, vitamin C in me from the emergency and the Alka-Seltzer really helps a lot. Um, I have some burn cream in here just in case I, I were to burn myself. I have some burn cream to kind of help with the, the relief. Uh, I got some alcohol swabs just for, for cleaning a wound. I also have a, a betadine uh, prep pad. So, so those are all for, 
for cleaning wounds, um, just in case you get cut. Um, and then I have a sting relief in here as well. You know, we have quite a few uh, things in here in Florida that'll that'll sting you. So, um, so I always keep some sting relief. In here, uh, I do have these zip zip baggies. Um, these are two straws that I've cut. I've seared the ends with a, uh, a pair of pliers and a lighter, and I keep neosporin in here uh, just to keep you know infection down. If I were to to have a cut on my arm or something, I like using neosporin, um, and I keep them in a Ziploc bag just in case one of these were to burst. But what the straws do is it pretty much gives me like a, a, a single use, um, you know, serving so I don't have to carry like a big bottle of Neosporin around. Keep it in a Ziploc bag and uh, it's always, always good to go. So I keep, uh, let's see here, I keep one, two, three, four small bandages. Uh, and the reason why I carry four, just in case I have like a finger cut or something, you know, a nick from a knife that, that's bleeding pretty good, um, I have an extra Band-Aid or two that I can change it out to, to keep that wound clean. I got one knuckle bandage, just because. Um, and then I got one kind of larger bandage, just in case I have a bigger cut that I need to, to deal with. Um, you would say, why do I carry some small pieces of gauze? I'll tell you why I carry some small pieces of gauze. Um, I have cut myself pretty decent in the past. It's nice to have something that can actually soak up some, some blood if you need to. Uh, these are some two inch, two inch by three inch gauze pads. I have two of them once again, so I can change it. And I pair that with some self-adhesive, uh, like ACE bandage, but it's the self-adhesive kind, so I can wrap it around. And I'll tell you, you know, just a quick war story. Um, I cut my wrist really bad. And uh, I mean, it was just like, blood running down my arm and I actually was able to use these two things uh, while I was out and about and to get the, the blood, the bleeding to, to be controlled. Um, carry a piece of moleskin just in case I'm having to do a lot of work out and about and I'm starting to get a really bad blister. I don't want it to slow me down. So I got some moleskin and then I have some 3M Steri strips in here uh, just in case, you know, I. Uh, the job that I used to have, even even working, you know, with survival dispatch, being out in the field, um, if I did have to kind of close up a wound enough to to get me, you know, to a hospital or something like that, I do have some stereo strips. I have used these also on somebody else in the past, um, and I have a pair of tweezers. You know, helps for getting splinters out, um, you know, pieces of metal, anything like that. You know, ticks. Um, I've used these tweezers a ton, so. You know, those are the contents that I that I carry. Like I said, this isn't a isn't a trauma kit by any means. Uh, it's just to help with a little bit of minor bleeding, uh, help with some stomach issues, allergy issues, uh, just not feeling well issues. So, you know, this is what I've carried for a long time. And like I said, you know, this is kind of. I've, I've added and removed items over the years, um, you know, just kind of evolving this kit as I went, as I traveled around the world. Um, and this is what I carry with me in my backpack every single day with me, just to take care of, you know, the day-to-day the -day things. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I believe that, you know, a boo-boo kit is that something that you guys should carry in your EDC pack, your get home bags, things like that, um, just because it can make life a whole lot easier dealing with things. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the like button below. Below. And until next time, be safe.